Yo, what's going on people? This is Infamous bringing you guys a brand new video. And in this video, we're actually be talking about Boruto slash Naruto Gaiden DLC for Naruto Storm 4. Now, this is going to be part 3 of the DLC discussions that I've actually done. So, if you guys haven't watched the other ones, go back and, you know, look on my channel. I'll leave some links down below. You can watch part 1 and part 2. They're really good, and I really want to hear what you guys have to think of those ideas that I've said. Now, moving on to what I actually want to talk about, and this is going to be, you know... Putting Naruto Gaiden slash Boruto Naruto movie DLC in Storm 4. Now we're already getting Boruto, we're getting Sarada, and a Hogage costume for Kakashi. Which, I mean, the Hokage thing is not necessarily needed and it's not something that I would ask for. But we do get Boruto and Sarada, which are day one exclusives. Now, first of all, I don't think that's fair to many people who can't get the first copies of the game or get a first you know, or pre-ordered the game, it's not fair to them that they can't get Boruto and Sarda because I watched Boruto and Naruto the movie and this is going to have some spoilers in it, but I actually have a link, shout out to Lucid Chaos because he sent me a link, but I have a link for you guys to watch the whole Boruto and Naruto the movie in, like, it's it's a decent quality, I mean, it's quartered through a cam, but as good as you're going to get, especially if you want to see the movie now. Now, overall, watching the movie, there was so much epicness, there was so much badassery, I was like, there's... There's no way that, you know, CyberConnect2, Namco Manda Games cannot put some of this good-ass material in Storm 4. It's just really impossible. So, this is basically what I, you know, when I watch the movie, there's so many team ups with Jutsus, regular Jutsus, Awakenings, you know, brand new characters they can incorporate into the game. So, you know, I'm going to start off with, of course, Boruto. Now... I know they said they're not going to do DLC, but I'm not sure because they already did a Kakashi DLC and there is more DLC confirmed. So let's say they do a Boruto slash Naruto Gaiden, you know, story pack. So for Boruto, of course we're getting Boruto and I feel like also if you don't get Boruto during the day one edition, you can also get him later through DLC purchases as well. Now also during the movie, there is, you know, a costume or an outfit that Boruto wears where he's wearing Sasuke's headband with a scratch on it and Naruto's old jacket when he was a kid. Now honestly, I think that'd be a really cool DLC to have um, as far as a costume. Maybe I can have like PTS Naruto and then Boruto. I think it'd be a dope team and I would use that a lot. And I think, I mean, it, like I said, DLC, like costumes, they add a lot of like, they like a spin on the gameplay. Like it's something new visually to look at. It's not like the same outfit after the same outfit. You can add something new whenever you want to play with your favorite character. Now moving on, we have Sarada. There's not really too much they can really do with her. I mean, she was in the Boruto movie, but she wasn't really, like, the huge part. But, of course, you know, like I said, just like Boruto, make her a purchase DLC later on. Maybe, like, a couple weeks or a month after the game is released. I think that only makes it fair and gives everyone, a, you know, a, a leveled playing field as far as having all the characters maximum that they can actually have in the game. Now, moving on, we have, we're going to start with Sasuke. Now, I see why... Cyber Connect 2 gave Sasuke such dope combos, why he's such favorited character, because this dude during the movie was ridiculous, like his power was boss, his teleportation skills with the Renegon was insane, I have never seen Sasuke so badass ever, and I think this movie really makes up for it from, you know, Naruto the Last, and he, you know, only had like a 10 second spot, but the combos he does in this movie, his sword skills and all that, I think honestly, we should get another character you know, adult Sasuke or Sasuke Boruto Naruto the movie because this Sasuke has such an even more updated move set, more updated moves. His teleportation skills are on point. You know, they can give him, I mean, all kind of jutsus. Give him like a, a Susano jutsu where he actually maybe just hits you with a Susano or something. It's, it's, it's epic what he can do. Honestly, I think we deserve that character as well because Sasuke was really dope in this movie. I mean, they don't even have to put his cloak on. They can just, you know, have him... Uh, with the you know regular just shirt that he has on or if they want to make it like Naruto the last character You know basically have the same model with the jacket on or something. It's that, that was so epicness I think honestly Sasuke the last or Sasuke adult Sasuke from Naruto Gaiden slash Boruto the Naruto the movie Definitely should be in this game because he was just epic now moving on to Naruto This dude was you know he had a really big part and of course we got Naruto the last and 
you know, like I said, I do complain about the character only because he is missing a few things. He's missing, you know, a better ju awakening. I mean, not awakening, ultimate jutsu because I feel like his ultimate jutsu is good, but it's not as good as it could be. Not as dope as Sasuke's. And also his awakening is kind of revamped. It's not even revamped. It's, it's a rehash move set with like a slight tweak. And honestly, I wish they did something you know better, new, and something more dope as hell because. Like I said, you know, CC2 really favors Sasuke. But moving on from that, Naruto, from Naruto, Gaiden, and Boruto to Naruto the movie, absolutely epic. Now, I wouldn't really care which one they give us. They can give us, you know, Naruto with the cloak on or not with the cloak on. Either way, as long as it's an adult Naruto, I want it in the game because he's he's epic. He's fast. I mean, I wouldn't mind even, you know, seeing some different jutsus incorporated because he did some really badass stuff in that game. And he didn't even use Shadow Clones, he used actually himself, so they can also incorporate another Taijutsu type Naruto, just like the last, into the game as well. And it would fit really well. And I think something, something else like, like people want to see, they want to see Boruto characters in the game. Now that could be like the a second DLC pack, so maybe the first DLC pack will get you uh, get you Boruto and Sarda back. If you haven't already gotten them on the first day. The second one can have, you know, Sasuke and... Naruto from Naruto Gaiden slash Boruto the movie and give all these characters there's so many also there's so many ultimate jutsu they have like team ultimate jutsu that they can incorporate because I mean you have I'll list them on the screen you have Naruto Boruto you have Naruto Sasuke you have Sasuke Boruto you got Sasuke Sarada and you got Naruto Sasuke and Naruto, Sasuke, and Boruto. Like, there's so many that you can incorporate into this game. And that's not even touching all the other characters that are in this movie. Now, going on, I think they should also... I've said this before, me and Lucy have actually done a video on it. They should really incorporate the next generation into this game. I mean, having Metal Lee, you know, getting this Shikadai, Chocho, Inojin, even Himawari, Mitsuki, I think honestly that would be dope as hell and that's more characters added to the roster, really developing that character roster because I made a video kind of showing off, we really have not gotten that many new characters, you know, we've gotten like a really like maybe a handful of new characters and we want more, we really want this game to last, we want to spread out, use a whole bunch of characters, I want this to be like the biggest damn Naruto roster in history, I want this game to go down in legend saying this game had the most characters and they went all the way up to Boruto and Naruto the movie. I mean, that would be just epic as hell just having all those characters. I probably main Boruto with Shikadai or Boruto, Shikadai Metal Lee. I want to use Enojin. I want to use the Byakugan of Himawari. I think all that would be dope. And honestly, I wouldn't mind even getting the two other characters from the different villages, which is Shinki. And he uses like an ink style because, you know, during the movie, he says like an ink style. So like an ink sand or something like that. And then we have Yuri and he uses bubble gum. I mean, how dope would that be? You would kind of base his moveset off of like a Killer B and Yutaka, the, I don't know if that's his actual name, but the Six Tails Jinjuriki, you can base a combo off those two where he makes combos with bubble gum and they explode. I uh, like that would be dope as hell. And then, there's so many things I could do. Like for that pack, I would say next generation. And then for like Metal Lee, Bor not Borto, Metal Lee, Mitsuki, Himori, all of them. And then have another one that says next generation outside villages. Now give us those. Now there is one more set of DLC characters I believe that we should get. And I believe we should get, we should get all the new Kages. We should get, uh, I can't remember her name. The new Sichu Kage, Kurusuchi. I don't, that, the guy's. You guys know what I'm talking about. Tojiro, Darui, and Gara, adult Gara. Those honestly dope characters. They have dope moves and they really, you know, developed and you know evolved their jutsu. So I think they should be in the game too. Especially since, you know, to like most Tojiro and Kurutsuchu, whatever her name is, both of them were Hokage A's and now they're actually Hokages. So I think that's really dope. And we deserve those characters. Now also I think we should get uh Momoski and Kinski because um now they're both Otsutsuki's or you know that's the you know they're like Kaguya so I mean you can give them a team ultimate jutsu I mean you can even do this and this is something that I really just thought about at the moment I'm making this video they can actually give us Toneri, Kinski, and Momoshiki all in one pack called it the Otsutsuki pack give us all three of those characters and you I mean you have awakenings for all three, you have move sets for all three, Cyber Connect 2. If you're listening, make these characters, put them in the game. 
Honestly, that's all we're asking for. Evolve that character roster. And honestly, I think besides character DLC and costumes, because there's so many you know costumes and characters, like I said, that they can give us, they should also give us new maps. This is the new generation of Naruto, so they have like updated technology. You know, the whole village looks different, so maybe a new, you know, Boruto themed um, Hidden Leaf Village where everything looks evolved. You can even give us maybe the um, area where Momoshiki and um, Naruto and Sasuke fought. You can even give us the part where Sasuke and Kinski fought. I mean, there's so many different places that were fought in this movie and so many aspects that they can really incorporate into Storm 4. Like, they have a, a giant palette of opportunities in that movie that they can incorporate into this game, and I do think they should do it. There's so much. Now, guys, I, like I said, I am going to leave a link to the movie in the description down below. Go watch it. Like I said, it's not 100% the best quality, and there's some sound breaks here and there, and there's some, uh, you know, visual issues, like, in between little things, but you get to see the whole movie, and I promise you, I promise you, this is epic as hell. Again, shout out to you, Lucid Chaos. You're a god for this, yo. I really want to see this movie. I'm excited. I actually got to see it. I am going to watch it again probably the same day I'm uploading this video. The movie was epic. But like I said, guys, there's so much they can actually do. Let me know in the comments down below what you'd like to see. Maybe you guys want to see like a Metal Lee. I mean, like you want to see me, Ski, all those characters. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys agree with what I'm saying? Do you not agree? Do you think that maybe this could be possible? Do you not think this is possible? Like I said, guys, leave it in the comments down below. I appreciate you guys watching. Comment, like, subscribe if you're new. And... Infamous out.